you guys can ignore all of this that's happening. Hey, look, it's one of my videos. Also, subscribe to them. They're very good. They're a very good channel. Anyway, uh, I was, uh, here's the time right now. So, I was just randomly looking through my videos, and I'm like, you know what, I need to react to some of my old videos. So, I'm going to be acting to a couple that was made, but I was still videos are us, because people have been subscribed to my channel for a while, know that I wasn't always Fluff Snowball, I was originally videos are us, so let's watch some of these, so this, um, I already watched, um, these two, this video actually kind of sucks, this video, it has some good points, but it wasn't, like, put together all that well, so we're gonna watch, uh, 10 games I want for the Switch. I don't think I said new, because this is, this is when the Switch first came out, I think is when it made, because it didn't come out like March 3rd, so yeah. Gang Beast, we have not, as far as I know, Gang Beast hasn't came out. Uh, I think it did come out for PS4, so. Okay, this is when I still use different colors for stuff. Samba Amigo, I've never played Samba de Amigo. Oh yeah, I am referenced game explained like 50 times, also why didn't I capitalize this I? That's gonna bug me. Like, half of these I just got from game explained, I didn't even put any effort, cause like, I don't, I've never played Samba de Amigo, so I don't even know if I would even like it, but, there you go. Uh, first switch to the Joy-Cons, hoo boy! Yeah, once again, I just stole this point from Game Explain. I didn't even make it original. Oh, I remember this Excitebots. I would love another Excitebots. It's like, here's my thing from the first Excitebots is like my copy. You can't get past like a certain level because like the disc just is broken. But other than that, like I love that game, dude. Excitebots, Trick Racing, dude, it's so good. If you've never played it, you need to. I just want a working copy of that game. Is all I want. Uh, I have a dressing game, you have to do a lot of tricks to get stars, which make you have souls and buy more excite pop. It, it's a good game, it's a fun game. Uh, a flying squirrel excite pop, I still think it would be pretty cool. If you get a flying squirrel excite pop. Rhythm have an ice cream in the middle. Um. Des Reeves. Des Reeves. <sighs> Old Ben, why you gotta misspell in all of your videos? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much true. You would have to turn up the volume. This is another one that I still uh, can't explain. Now, here's my thing. If they make, I don't want them to port Mario Kart Double Dash to Switch, I just want them to like, um, if they were to ever do something like this, I would just want them to create, an, like, Mario Kart 9, but you're able to have, um, two people to one cart. That I would like, but if they just ported the game, no. I wouldn't like that. Yeah, I've played Double Dash before, I haven't, I don't remember much. Yo, I didn't even say a double dash 2. Cause I would, I think I want a double dash 2 more than just a poor double dash. Hey, we got Smash Bros! Hey. Oh, there you go. Well, that's one of these. I know I have Mario Maker on here. Uh, we have it. I mean, we're getting Breath of Breath of... Well, I mean... Okay, for this one, I don't know if we technically gotten this one yet. Because, um... See, okay, I have Breath of the Wild, um, I still haven't beaten it, and it came out three years ago by now. Um, however, we're getting Breath of the Wild 2 sometime, and then we also got, um, Zelda, how oh, was it called? Zelda Link's Awakening, we got that. So, I mean, yeah, I, a two-player Zelda, we're still waiting on that. Uh... Also, I just want to say, videos are us, we already have, so why did I refer to myself just my channel name? Uh, <laughs> that's kind of, also I just want to point out, this video has one dislike. 
Uh, it's fair to say. Is there any comments for this? What I said about me and like, so yeah. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. But, um, yeah. So we technically still haven't gotten this. It's a two-play Zelda game. This is the last time the game was played. So just the list. That's still kind of true, though. Like, Breath of the Wild is fun, but eh. It's like, okay. Before I talk about Wii Party and stuff like that, I just want to say I suck at Breath of the Wild. I am horrible at it. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to beat that game, to be honest. Anyway, if they get, like, if they make Switch, they need to make Switch Party. That's just a thing. If you've never played Wii Party or Wii Party, like, I, I've never played Wii Party, but I have, the, um, I have this one. I like it. I think it's a good game. Um, yeah, there's nothing else. And plus, there are still me's on the Switch, so you just change to like Switch Party. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the same point. Switch Party, I think, would be a good game. We got a Mario and Sonic, I think. Also, like, I just want to mention, a Mario and Sonic was gonna come to Switch anyway, just kind of like Smash was, so I feel like this one shouldn't count. So this is like, nine games I want for the Switch. Wait, I just realized, I said ten games I want for the Switch, and at the beginning I say, this is, here are some games I need for the Switch. So Video Me is a little more greedy. Anyway, let's uh, hear what I have to say about So they gave this game to be in 3 Yes. Mm. No boy, it has touch screen. Or does it? I don't know. I already forget how to switch this. Uh, <laughs> like, someone left a dislike below. Uh, so I did this transition on all my videos. I just transitioned to VRS. Are we gonna watch Best Phineas and Ferb? So I still need to make part four, guys. Part three was one year ago. Also, watch this video. Watch this, but this is like my best video. This is my second best video. This is my third best video. No, this is my third best video. Um, here, here's my shameless plug here. Um... Don't watch this video, it's awful. It was a live stream. We... Oh, we gotta watch how goldfish are made now. This is like based on like an old jo like joke that I made up when I was like eight about how goldfish are made. And like, um, I made it into a video for some reason. And all I remember was I made this before I knew how to mask in Sony Vegas. So get ready for some bad stuff, everyone. I just want to say, before I do this, you know, I I put in the Fluff Snowball intro music for my um, short films on this one. Yo. Cool, but they're in different places. Oh, it sucks. They're made like it. Know exactly how and, uh, See, this is a transparent ear. Why didn't you? See. Oh, Ben, what are you doing? Why does this have so many views, by the way? This is like my second most viewed video. What the heck? Oh my god. The, this, this should become a meme. This is like. Knowing memes in 2020, this is a perfect meme material. And plus, then maybe I, oh, I have 38. I thought I had 37. Hey, if you're the person who subscribed, congratulations. Um, yeah, I have 
38 subscribers. Hopefully, I can get to 50 soon. I still think this is funny. Like, it's it's good for why is the slide so hard? The deep fire man. See, I think this is funny. If you think about it, it's be like, oh, you know, that that's just, you know. Also, PETA, don't sponsor me. Uh, is this when you have 26 subs? Uh, this is a year ago. But should I reply? Sure. gonna write basically <laughs> there you go also shout out to shout out to uh aiden he was in a couple of my short films shout out he uh lives somewhere else now but yeah funny <laughs> this is ps and that's why it's a joke print gavin prank master j dude if you're subscribed to me you get a shout out from me This is be it. Yeah, this is like my second most popular video. My first most popular is by far this one. The Pokemon particular one. Like, I wish this didn't have the watermark from videos or us. Because, like, this is a good video. Except I think it's made for kids now. Yeah. Um. It's one doing meme sauce. Yeah. See, like, if this is just Fluff Snowball. Mm, it's a perfect video. It's so good. Uh, let's talk. Oh, that video aged perfectly. I mean, I I feel like what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna watch. What else? Yeah, I know. I made this originally for Crash the Skylands video. Um, yeah. Oh God, should I react? See, I mean. Problem is like here, like I've seen all of these videos now because I remember them well enough. But um, I don't know. I'll uh, I'll watch. Let's talk. First, let's check out the comments. Uh, sorry guys, lied to you at 19, but I do have a short film up. Uh, AV at 10 seconds grass man, but in terms of being like it, I think it is. Anyways. Oh, this music is awful. <laughs> Basically, it, if you ever, guys, if you've ever wanted to know, Ben, why do you like rarely upload? Th this is the reason why. School plus I rarely make videos. There you go. I have school, so I have other things to do, and rarely make videos um, represents. I just don't want to sit down. And make it. Speaking of YouTube. I want to be where the people are. This is what I'm back wanna be now. Like, I'd still kinda wanna be an animator, but I mean, um, yeah, I don't have the time and effort for it, or the good artistic skills. What? Mm, that age is good. Uh, whoa, okay, that last slide would buy very well. Uh, should we watch in the code? It's been a while since I've watched it. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna make... Guys, this is... Some background on all my short films now. Oh wait, no, sorry. All of my short films. This is the blue reel, but it's a part of this, so... Start within the code. This was for the main short film festival for 2018. Let's go. So the only thing I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is this video is made for kids. 
because I was about to say, why is there so much cringe to the right of the screen? Also, if you guys are wondering why I can't go full screen, it's because it turns off my recording, so... Still, okay, all of the background is horrible. Um, I still kind of like what I was doing here. Also, the main problem was, if this wasn't made after Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle came out, it would have been great. Also, we didn't make it in the top 10 here. Like, there was one when I went to see, like, the top 10 films that was awful, and I have no idea how it made it into the top 10 over this. So I was wondering, like, we must have, like, for broken a rule, and we didn't know about it, but, uh, yeah. Also, well even though it's very blurry, it's Caleb, and this is shot at, um, my old school. Also, you can't see it, but it's CBNR, Cheesy Breaking News Report. Because, you know, um, it was originally supposed to be Cliche Breaking News Report, but the other two people who were filming with me, uh... They, uh, they wanted cheesy. Also, I would, because, like, I was in such a panic to film this, because, like, this is, like, our one shooting day. And I was like, okay, come on, we gotta do this. Uh, uh, just shoot it. And then, um, I wasn't paying attention to whether it's in focus. And we got this. Welcome back to CBNR, Cheesy Breaking News Report, with your host. Also, shout out to Caleb. He was in, uh, my first two short films that I made. Also, if you're wondering... Well, the first one, this is the only one he's in. Uh, I made one before this called Crypt Tale, and you're probably never going to see it unless, like, one day I hit, like, a million subs and we react to it with my friends. If you want to see it, you gotta get me to, like, a thousand or a million subs, guys. See more news. Today's see more news. I still love that name, because if you don't get it, it's saying you need to see more news. See more news. Anyway. Topic is Joshua Perkins has gone missing. We don't know where he is or how he has gone missing. Thanks. Wait, no. Ah, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Ah, okay. Anyway, I just want to say I still love how Danny just goes, thanks. Because, like, after he sh we shot that, he just went, why did I do that, man? Why did I say that? Anyway, missing. let's go. Thanks. Oh, yes, we won! Okay, I really so, wish I was a what, what is this? Oh, hey, you gotta switch. So I still use this company. Oh, that's my, uh, a dog toy. Also, we had to shut the curtains because there was too much light. Anyway. So fun. If you couldn't catch this, that was supposed to be thunder. I tried to make it as loud as I could, but it didn't work. Where did I get you? Also, shout out to more blurry shots. Oh, well, it slowly gets out in focus. Also, Mason, uh, also shout out to Mason, he wore this shirt in both of his short films. Maybe even in Cryptale, I don't know. Hello! Oh, oh. My voice was so high back then, oh my god. <laughs> Hello! I, like, that's me trying to do what I just did. Hello! And you can already hear my voice crack. That's stupid. One question for you. Who are you? That's supposed to be a what are those reference. I'm so sneaky of Bricksville, and I'm pursuing reality. Also, shout out to this bull cut. Well, I mean, it's slightly down in the back, but. Shout out the to the Forgotten bull. Land. Also, shout out to Blurry Shots. First of all, how did you know all that, and how did I. So, um. If you heard, well, I'll go back a bit. And I'm pursuing Muralik from the Forgotten Land. First of all, how did you know all that, and how did I- So if you heard that noise like a saw in the background, the neighbor, one of my neighbors just started that when we were filming, and it didn't stop, so, so me and Mason were like, okay, fine, let's just shoot it. And then as soon as we stopped shooting, then it stopped. And then be like, ah, we already filmed it, so we gotta use it. Also, I love this. Ah, uh, stop her! What's this? You gotta take it! 
See, because you know, in these short film festivals, you have to use like um, in this in the CYSFF, you have to use um a required like camera shot, a required item, and a required um phrase. So that was the required item was the ticket. So our thing was, you know, if he punches the enemy in the game, you get the ticket is the currency. So that's what he got. You have come here to defeat. Because you know he's in the video game. That's what this is. You dominator, haven't you? Mm, yeah, I guess I have. Lucky for us, his fortress is right over there. <laughs> I I still love that. Like that's one of my most underrated uh, th scenes in my short films. Yes, I have. Lucky for us, his fortress, fortress is, is right, right over, over there. there. Hey, look at this! A lockpick! A specialty! Random zoom in by Aiden. Oh, I also love this. Not working. Okay, I just want to tell you also, we had no script for this, by the way. How it was, is like, I would just tell Mason and Aiden, Alright, so here's the plan. Uh, here's how the story goes. Uh, so basically, say something along the lines of this. Like, it wouldn't be, oh, here, you have to say this, it'd say something along the lines of this. Uh, so, Mason, so I told Mason, oh, you know, just bang on the door and try to open it. <laughs> and then he said, you know, and we were shooting it, he said not working, which for some reason I just think is the funniest thing ever. Okay, l just let me open it. I have the lockpick. I mean, at this point you've just failed. I haven't failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Required phrase. Required shot. Also, one of the one of the only things this thing would have been so cool if it weren't for one thing. Okay, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you five seconds to spot it. Okay. Dominator, security cam. If it would if it was about security, this would have been so cool. Cause like just like ten thousand ways that won't work. Oh yeah, right. Aiden, um, Aiden spoke very quietly in this. Once they meet me here, they will meet their demise. Nice security system. Uh, I've been expecting you, Doctor Dominator. I've been I waiting to this. finally defeat you. So here is another thing. I was, oh, did I have braces? Oh, I think you can see my braces a little bit there. Uh, also, what's funny here is um, I'm like, all right, Aiden, you have to kill me somehow. So uh, he was like, how am I going to do that? It's like, um, just pick up that. What was I talking about? Well, if you've never seen this, you're about to see. That wasn't even planned out. That was just our idea that I, on the spot, that I just get would get crushed by a box. Anyway. I know. And now for the grand finale. Totally improv fight scene. For being improv, I think it looked pretty good. I didn't think I could kill him. I did it. Yeah, I did it. Dr. Dominator? He's Dr. Lucy now. You're alive. What happened? I am Jesus. I still love that. <laughs> I am Jesus. Uh, also, if you didn't catch... What happened? I am Jesus. This is supposed to be the evil leaving, uh, garage. Oh, look, is 
that you? Uh, yeah. Is is that Joshua Perkins? Yeah. What are you What are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. More thunder. Want to play some Fortnite? <laughs> Dusty Devitt? Sure. All right. Welcome back to CBNR Cheesy Breaking News Reports with your host, CB News. Today's top story is Joshua Perkins has been found in his friend's house. We don't know how he went missing in the first place, but all we know is he's back safe and sound. Also, I love these bloopers in the credits, and I think what's all story is they're both of me. I'm so sneaky, have I already forgot it? Also, Alec Granola. If you have a last name of Granola, I feel sorry for you. I'm gonna have to be honest there. Also, see, Joshua, I could have just said Joshua Perkins dash Dr. Dominator. That would have been more sense, but here it looks like he was playing two characters. And what is he <laughs> doing to you, dude? There you go, that's uh, that's in the code for you. Anyway, this was the first film to make it into the top 10. So, like this, I'm still proud of this one. This one is good. Oh, it's spooky. I know I kinda did this one with poison puzzles. I still did the pumpkin, but uh, Bearing the consequences, let's go. So what exactly are we supposed also, to be doing? Also, this has the largest cast to date. Because you got the four characters who are on screen. Then you got me and Caleb Miller, who you may remember from Mafia Manji and Poison Puzzles. Um, he was helping with the script and camera. Also, you have Anthony, Anthony Quick or Smith, I don't know what last name. You got Bryce, this is Bryce's first appearance. And you got Aiden and Mason. Aiden has short hair this time. I'm going at this party. No, nothing really since, uh, my sister went missing. Well, some party- Oh, I just want to say, there was one time when we were shooting the first scene, this scene, when, um, what happened was the joke is, like, you know, um, Anthony's character, I forget his name, is it Cody, right? Yeah. His character is, like, supposed to be kind of, like, the jerk who's, like, not paying attention to the party, even though, like, you know, Bryce's sister just went missing. We were filming the scene one time, and then, you know, Bryce is saying his line, and then uh, Anthony goes, hey, look at this. And then I just went, dude, he's saying his line, not supposed to interrupt. This will be. No! Kiki! Kiki! Wait, wait! <laughs> Bryce looking at the camera always gets me. Like, if there's ever been a fourth wall break in any of films, I would say it's that. Because that wasn't planned at all, but that's just amazing. Anyway. Uh, also, Aiden's character is totally me if this were ever gonna happen. No! Kiki! Kiki! Wait, wait! Wait. There it is. Um, let's go downstairs. You have some movies down there, right? Yeah, sure. Let's go downstairs. So, what movie will we watch? I don't know. Also, I'm pretty sure there's no movie at all in the cabinet. Just, like, friends and family guy. Also, if you hear noises in the background of this, it's because uh, my... Uh, Friends were playing air hockey when we were shooting this. Oh, but I get the recliner. <laughs> Come on, Cody. It's not just Jordan. Yo, Revenge of the Sith poster. Also, um, a new hope poster. It was his birthday party. His sister went missing about a week ago. About also. Yo, look at this dramatic line reading from Mason, though. 
Come on, Cody. It's not just Jonas' birthday party. His sister went missing about a week ago. <laughs> about, also- Oh my god. I never noticed how monotone that reading is. Just listen. Come on, Cody. It's not just Jonas' birthday party. His sister went missing about a week ago. About, also, how did she go missing? Well, she, she just vanished. One day she was there and then the next day she was gone. What was her sister like? I mean, he never really told us much about her anyways. She was younger than me. She always seemed to read these how to be magic books and really loved teddy bears. Wait, hold on. Can I back up a bit? See, this is a funny thing, because, like, there's a little, like, buzzer on this thing. This is of Donald Trump, by the way, when he was on The Apprentice. If you press the button, he goes, you're fired. And, uh, it's funny. I seem to read these how-to-be magic books and really love teddy bears. Oh, I love Jonah, that. Jonah, has there always been a bear I under love your this vagina? capture. I love this. Th this was so much fun to film. Evil bear! <laughs> Straight out of a horror movie. Go, 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 and like, I had to push it open enough that you could see the pairs, but I couldn't push far enough that you could see me, and it was so hard to do. Don't worry, we can get out of this. Oh, squirt gun! <laughs> now what was funny of this? The squirt gun shot took us so much time to do, and we used real water. So Bryce and Mason, it would be just me and Caleb would just be, okay, and go. And then it's like, oh my god. And then they'd be like, oh my god, that's so much water. And they'd be like, oh, sorry, we can't use that take. And they're like, no. And then we would have to take like five takes and they get squirted five times. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bryce and Mason. This is so cold. Jonah? Cold. Oh, this is all. Okay. This was really fun to film, but it took so long to do. And then the door slam. We tried really hard to make it just actually slam, but the door just wouldn't. So Caleb was behind there, and we he just shoved the door, and uh, that's how we got it. Oh, wait, wait. No, okay, Fluffy. Oh, you're not a real Required person. image. Dear Jonah, if you are reading this, then I must tell you this is Maddie, your sister. The How to Be Magic books taught me how to control things with my mind, and because I loved them so much, I controlled my teddy bears. But one day, they were- Bryce is, uh, clearly reading off the script. ...moving on their own when I wasn't controlling them. So I ran over to my friend's house, because she is not too far from our house. So right now, stop the bears. I will be at my friend's house until it is safe. Finally, always remember where there is no imagination, there is no horror. Required friends. Also, this was so You're not taking me, my sister, or any of my friends! Well, it was comfy under there. See, the joke is that, you know, he was shoved under a recliner. And, uh, it's like, whoa, how are you still alive? That's, like, really compact. But then he says, hey, it was comfy under there. And the joke is it's a recliner, so eh, eh, get it. Anyways, I'm glad you guys are still okay. Weren't there four of us? Oh, hi, Mrs. Wink, uh, about your son, Keith. See, the joke is, he ran away, so, uh, did, yeah, they were, they were for it, he ran away, yeah, there we go, okay, cool.
cringe, 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 cringe. <laughs> Uh, the time. This time. Oh no, that's the one we just watched. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh no, it's Mafia Manji. In my opinion, this is Mafia Manji is the worst. Cause okay. Originally, we had a plan. See. Uh, and that plan was to have seven of us, and it'd be six people playing the game Mafia, right? But whenever someone would do something, it would happen in real life. However, only four of us came to the shoot, and, uh, we were running out of time to do stuff, and plus two of us had to play two characters anyway, so we decided... I made the executive decision of like, you know what, we're just gonna make it a murder movie because we only have one day to shoot this. So, uh, it evolved into the mess that is Mafia Manji. Let's go. See, it's supposed to be like, you know, Jumanji, right? Because cause it's like, you know, whatever happens in the game happens in real life. But, uh, eh. Oh, it's awful. Also, okay, this what this didn't get in the top ten for obvious reasons, but it's still one best use of required phrase, so uh that's pretty good. Alright, who's ready for a good old fashioned One of the reasons I did the southern accent in this is so I can distinguish myself from the two characters. The mafia. Wait, are we all the killer? No, half of us are murderers. Hey, half Caleb's first appearance on the screen. Sorry, it was such a bad film, Caleb. Who's our nurses? Who's the detective? Oh, hey, Bryce's second character. Well, let's hear that voice one more time. Who's the detective? All of us, duh. No, actually. So, John. Oh my God, that oh, it's it's awful. Oh, why why didn't I just write a completely different script? <laughs> That's what we should have done. Because you know. See, it goes from John, who's my southern the, accent character, no, actually. to Blanket Guy, and that's not his name. But, um, it, you can tell we were just trying so hard. So, John, are you the barman? No, he is a nurse. Relax! That dramatic delivery from Mason once again, he's got it two times in a row, man. This time, I'm the narrator, everyone else is what their car says, and nothing else. So, no more words. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Required phrase. Hey everyone, pick up your card. What's happening? What I love, what I love about that is you can hear... Uh, I forget who flickered the lights, but you can hear the light switch turning on and off. So instead of being creepy, it's just you can tell where it is flicking on and off. Just like listen. Everyone, pick up your card. What's happening? Uh, okay, it was the nurse. I think Mason was supposed to be a civilian. Oh, oh yeah, also, see, this is our first time doing costumes. But basically, he had no idea what the, we were doing. So, we just said, that, oh, yeah, that, that looks good. That's a cop. That's a bartender. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh... Required object. Okay, if you want to know how many times it took us to shoot, because Bryce, Bryce's main character is the bartender, 
That's a bottle of Snapple. That bottle was almost empty at the time we were done shooting. That's how many drinks he took from it. Relay! Murderer Bryce. That that shot is still pretty- I like what I did with the music there. That's Relay! The the game's ah! A little too dark to see what's going on there. Ah! Ah! Running away! Talk about a cliche. So I'm not, I'm not sure if you. Okay, that's another thing I did like about this is um. Is um. Th that kill of Blanket Man. That's what I'm calling my character from now on. Um, it was, it was, like, clipped together really well, it was edited really well, and also, I'm not sure if you're gonna hear Bryce's line, but what he says is, talk about a cliche. Um, because, you know, there's always someone who trips and gets murdered. So. Ah! Running away! Talk about a cliche. Oh, no, prepare for the cringiest thing I've ever done, oh, no. Worst part is you can see Mason completely fine just going there, but then the top that the icing on the cake he goes ah God this is it's a mess. Ah! I can help. I'm a nurse. Don't worry, you're in good hands, buddy. You're in good nice too. Ooh, Man, that was a good night out. Whoa, a knife! Ow! So you may have wondered, wait a second, Bryce is the killer. So, who stabbed the bartender? Uh, that was me. I got to stab Bryce, and that was really fun. Um, <laughs> that sounds really dark without context. Um, uh, yeah, because I, I, I just put on the glove, and I just, well, bam, just hit him. Also, this is probably my favorite kill. Oh, whoa, a knife! Ow! See, the joke is, he's drunk, so he doesn't tell that he's about to get murdered. Also, wow, I can see the inside of my computer from here, that's weird. Okay, this is the other thing we like. I like the final chase scene. That's like the, the, my favorite part of this section. <laughs> I love this too. Oh, howdy, partner. <laughs> See, uh, apparently I got stabbed through the floorboards. There's my explanation for why this film is so freaking weird. Also, required shot. Hey, look, it's the only four people who came to shoot. Really, only three people who came to shoot because I live there. Wait a second, who was Blanket Man? Marcus Nasson Blanket Man Alexander is the murderer, right? Yeah, Jerry is the bar- Okay, well, I remember everyone. John is Southern Accent. Marcus is Blanket Man. Alexander's the murderer. Jerry is, um, bartender. Freddy is the civilian. And Christian is, uh, the, uh, the little, uh, the little, uh, the little, uh, nurse. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. So I only have one more thing to react to. And um I'm not gonna do poison puzzles yet, but I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna talk about the blooper reel for this. If it'll work. We're stuck! So this text basically explains this entire thing. So for those of you who don't know, me, Caleb, and Bryce were the only people who shot this one. Because after the catastrophe that was Maki Manji, we're like, you know what? We just need to small cast. So uh that's what this was. Uh, so here, we are doing a shot where the door slams, and uh, it was like, alright, let's do that shot again. <laughs> Door's not opening. Uh, see, I knew that we could open the garage, but uh, Caleb was trying to open it with a screwdriver. And at the end, you just go, hear Caleb go, yeah, let's just open the garage. <laughs> see... Yeah, so here we slammed the door too hard and got stuck inside, even though we can open the garage. That also, also, if you want to know how we got the door back open, we got opened the garage, got Caleb on the other side, and just turned it. We, we both turned it the same time we got it back open. And that, we had to do that like three times. We're literally stuck right now. Literally. You need a flathead. Everyone say good going, Ben. Good going, Ben. Thank you. Okay. Well, well, I mean, well, we can we can literally just open the garage. And we're out. See, I I say right there, we can literally just open the garage and then we're out. Well, well, I mean, well, we can we can literally just open the garage Great and then we're out. Oh uh huh. That's too easy. That's too. This is a horror movie. We gotta. You gotta make it a horror. We gotta be smart. No, no Ben, yeah, you, you closed, closed the, the door. door. You were exactly <laughs> like a person <laughs> running away from the killer in a horror movie. You know how, like, in The Exorcist, it's like the set was, like, actually, like, cursed? This is, like, the Exorcist. Yeah. The set is okay, let's just jump in the garage. Yeah, okay. Which one's <laughs> the Right there. Oh, I love these. This was so hard to do because you, it's I could see about what you can see in the camera, but a little more. He's like, I had to go to my spot in darkness, and it was so hard. It was so hard, man. It was difficult. Also, I think this time I hit the table, but I said chair. <laughs> I think that time. I hit the table. Oh, I love this. <laughs> okay, we got Why wasn't we even done filming? Also, okay, we got what? that is the script in front of Caleb. Why wasn't we even done filming? Anyway, <laughs> I just love Bryce there. Cause how it is, is like that's where the shot was originally supposed to end, and in the final cut, that's where it ends. But, like, um... It's just like, um... <laughs> he didn't know that, he thought there was more. So I, I got up and it's like, okay, so what we gotta do with it, you know, it's... It's funny. Okay, got... Why wasn't we even done filming?! I love the way to say okay. okay got... Why wasn't we even done filming?! Okay, one more time. <laughs> okay, we got Why wasn't we even done filming? Stop this. <laughs> like, we laughed for about ten minutes straight, guys. Guys, I have to and do Bryce what the idiots called Ben and Caleb. I am so sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> ready for the experiment, correct? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So I realized the unintelligible, unintelligible yelling. I actually just go, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. The idiots called Ben and Caleb. I am so sorry for the inconvenience. Ready for the experiment, correct? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Yeah, th this one explains itself. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I was walking and then I, like, I hit the handle of the snowblower. And it made such a loud noise and it was the funniest thing ever. Oh, I love this. I threw the helmet too far. And if you're asking why were you throwing them in, in the first place, it's because for continuity, they weren't in the shot to begin with. So we had to throw them in. Okay. Stop it. I might throw that. Stop. I love this. He got scared by me throwing the helmet. He just dangerously picks it up. Looking for it. And Caleb no. continues anyway. <laughs> so, what it says here, if you never catch it, I put in loud metal clank because that's exactly what happened. Oh, okay. Explanation for this. So, if you're wondering, well, why did he go a different way and Bryce wasn't ready for it? It's because me and Bryce knew where Caleb was supposed to do go. Caleb didn't know where he was supposed to go. So he knew the beginning of the route, but he did not know the ending. So you see the film, he does that right. He does that right. This is where he messes up. There's a world of different. Uh, I love this. I can't read it. This next part <laughs> just belongs in perfectly cut what? screen. <laughs> what? What? Oh no! Aids, I put them in here. Where's the evil killer? Whoa! See, okay, a context for that scene. I don't know what was going on in the car, but um, what it was is you know they were doing that. And I think, like, with the window was slightly down. And, you know, I was next to the light switch, because I'm the person who turns the lights off to go murder Caleb. That sounds, once again, that sounds dark out of context. But I'm the person who was supposed to turn the lights off. So I was next to the light switch already. So how it was, was I heard Bryce go, Where is the evil killer? And the lights were off, so I'm like, Oh, oh, and I turned them on. And then that happens. So, uh, you can watch it again with context if you want. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh no! Aids. I put them in here. Where's the evil killer? Whoa! 2,977 people died on September 11th, 2001. Or you drank poison. I definitely drank poison. I love this so much. Okay, by Ben comes in the window, it's supposed to mean if the, in the film I go into the window and, you know, hit Caleb with a sledgehammer. So that what that's what happens. And then originally I was supposed to go for the cameraman as well, which I think I did in the final cut. So I go for Bryce, and this is where he starts, like, swearing. Because, like, it was, because it's pitch black, because the lights turned off in the car for some reason. So it's pitch black, and he, he Bryce just sees me coming out him with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Ah, it's Ghostface! It's fucking Ghostface! No. Why were the lights on? Why, that, why weren't the lights on? Because he's talking about, because like, lights in the barn, in the pole barn, like, those are supposed to be off, but the lights in the car are supposed to be on. So that's what he's saying. Then <laughs> that was the slowest time! <laughs> Also, okay, so here. Yeah. Okay, it's because I <laughs> forgot the <from> the mirror. <laughs> so if you want to know what I'm talking about, there. So Caleb's like Ben, you came in. It, it took so long for you to come in through the window. Uh, and then I was like, okay, well, first of all, it was pitch black, and second of all, I forgot that there was a mirror on the side of the car door. So what happened was I was walking and I bumped into the mirror. 
Uh, and that slowed me down so that I had to move it. <laughs> you bought into the mirror! Let's just see how that looks. Yeah, so you can watch me in context. Ben, that was the slowest time yet! Okay, it's because I forgot from the mirror. <laughs> You bought into the mirror! Let's just see how that looks. <laughs> I just got to see this. Wait, I'm the way I'm recording! No! Yeah, so that last part, that basically gives you some intel on how it is. We shoot some, and we're like, uh, that was bad, but let's see how it looked. <laughs> that, that's, uh, basically... That's basically filmmaking for you. Oh yeah, this is the original plan. Because it was supposed to be me holding the camera and I would be dragging Caleb. Problem is, you gotta hold the camera with one hand and pull with the other. And I'm very weak, so uh, it's very hard. <laughs> Get him! I'm surprised we didn't use like the whole like this little basement area for Mafia Mondra because it would have been a great setting. It's scary. <laughs> Forgetting that there is a one. <laughs> okay, so for this, I'm gonna explain this after. So basically, there, what happened was, you know, I was dragging Caleb, and it was going really well. So then he set his feet down, and, you know, um, I leave him down in here, and, you know, I walk on, and I turn around, because I realize, wait a minute, that noise isn't supposed to happen. And then Bryce comes like, what did you do? And then, um, next thing I know, I see water spewing out of the pipe, and then uh, I'm like, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And then I was like, turn it, and I was like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Uh, so um, then I had to go to and I was like, okay, I saw my mom do this, uh, uh, like that, and then the water turned off, and I'm like, <sighs> okay, let's see how that looked. That that, that was basically it. So now I, I I'm gonna show. You this again, but this time, think about what I just told you happening after. What did you do? You can kind of see me turn around. What did <laughs> see, okay, I'm gonna put it in slow mo here. Uh, no, that's subtitles. Th that's subtitles again, Ben. What are you doing? Okay. So here, I set his foot. I set his foot down, and it hits the valve. So then, like, oh shit! What did you? I uh, oh, and I love this. I blinked. He blinked. See, what's funny about that is Caleb's head is not even on screen during that shot, but he's like, I blinked, I ruined it. Also, what's funny about this, I'm gonna put this on slow mo again. He blinked. Uh, oh, wait, no, no. He blinked. You can see the puddle of water, because it came out from, like, that pipe right there, and it just started spewing out, and you could just see, you can see how much water came out. I mean, most of it had drained, but, you know, they... so this last one is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so, hold on, at the beginning, you can see, like, you can hear me and Caleb, like, setting up the schools, because, like, for this, you have to do like three production photos for the film festival. 
Uh, so like we have, had already filmed two. So we were going back in here to do the third, and it was us, you know, pointing at skulls. Uh, so me and Caleb were setting up the skulls, and Bryce was nowhere to be found. Turns out he was doing this. Because we were in that room. We were in oh, okay. this room. Hey, where's my green news? And he's just listening to us outside. <laughs> you just hear us doing- I forget what we were doing in there, but we were just waiting for him. Oh, here it is, I think. Here it is. Bryce! <laughs> Uh, it's such a great ending, cause you know, whoa, whoa. Corny and Duncan, the whole story, oh boy. But yeah, what happened there was Bryce is just sitting outside uh, the art room is what we call it, or the scary room is also what we call it. And you know, then me and Caleb were just in there and then Bryce were like, you know, also, great game. Great game. Um, so what it was, it was just him great video it was just him watching out waiting outside the art room and me and Kayla were just in there and then Caleb's like okay fine let's go find Bryce so then you know he goes Bryce well with the roll dars and then you know Bryce jumps out and scares the bejeebies out of him uh, anyway there you go that's me reacting to all